Hey guys, it's Bullet. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, my settings for 2023, as well as the settings, because I haven't really changed them that much, uh, that I used for last year's uh, 2022 CVAL season. Starting off with the general settings, I have just yellow uh, enemy highlights. I play on 0.355 at 800 DPI. I've been on this since, honestly, since high school, and now I'm in college. And so this is uh, definitely like my, my most used sense. I feel the most comfortable on it just a good sense for me um something different from my last video is i use raw input buffer because i use the g pro super light um it definitely gives me a little bit better of a tactical advantage because it um it reads off the uh the mouse rather than the game um my map uh just kind of standard stuff i don't really care about it as long as it uh it rotates and it's not fixed um and I don't have keep player centered so that I can see the mini map more. Uh, I use right hand mode. However, honestly, my number one request for Valorant is being able to have a bind like in Counter-Strike where you can press a button and it'll swap between these modes because I actually do believe that swapping between the modes, depending on which angle you're swinging, uh, it can definitely give you a tactical advantage. Uh, I have network buffering on minimum. However, I will say this is definitely a key change that you guys need to make. If you guys really struggle with internet problems and you tend to run around 50 to anything, honestly, just 50 plus ping, you want to put this on maximum. This is going to give you some pretty crazy uh, high ping peekers advantage. And it's going to be really hard for people to shoot back at you. Um, and it's kind of an exploit that people are using. So uh, keep this one on the books uh, on the down low. Uh, I use bullet tracers. Um, I think bullet tracers are really helpful. I know that a lot of people turn them off. And while it does, I feel like make your game look a little bit cleaner. Um, if you're not perfect at like tap firing or anything, I would recommend that you just leave them on. Um, obviously, if you have them on, it's not going to really do anything other than just show you where your bullets are going. Uh, even if you have it turned off, you're still going to be able to see the enemies. Um, all this is pretty standard stuff. Um, and I do have show mature content off. Um, so that does mean corpses off and blood off. Going into my keybinds, they're pretty much default. Um, and I use it, th I use this for all agents. Um, so it's a little bit different from my last video, but I just use C, Q, and E, and then X. Um, and then I have mouse wheel down for jumping. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, the only thing that I think is different is my inspect is V and my use object is F. Uh, and then I use mouse wheel up for the sniper rifle hold because it's easier to quick scope and your scope in time is shorter by doing this, by having uh, a toggle zoom level bound to another button on your, uh, peripherals and then having hold for sniper rifle aim. However, toggle for aim down sights, uh, does not, no difference. It doesn't matter which one you do. It's personal preference here uh this is my crosshair i get a lot of comments on this almost like every game um and people ask me like is this my real crosshair like oh this is a troll crosshair i'm being dead serious this is my real crosshair it's 11025 with the center dot on size 2 green outlines on this is my real crosshair i've been using it for over a year now um it was given to me by a friend who also used this crosshair for around 10 years and after I played a few games with it, uh, I fell in love with it, and I've been using it ever since. This is this is uh, the crosshair that I use. Um, one thing that, however, that I did change is I changed this from red to green. My um, my eyes are a little bit uh, tricky sometimes, so I use green. Um, sometimes I swap it to uh, like yellow or cyan. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference as long as it's just on one of these three colors. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Graphic settings. My PC is optimized by Comp Ready, so you'll notice that um, whenever I go into the range, I get lots of FPS. Um, I will say, uh, I know a lot of people are kind of curious using On Plus Boost rather than, I mean, using On rather than On Plus Boost. And the reason for this is uh, On Plus Boost, after you optimize your PC with Comp Ready, actually doesn't really give you any extra benefits. It actually just uses more power of your PC. So it's better to just leave this on On and then uncap all of your frame rate and just leave it on full screen mode. 
going into my graphics quality i actually for a while used uh some a mixture of high and medium settings mixed in with just standard all off and low settings i've been running this for a while and it feels pretty comfortable however i will say for a while i was using um these two on medium i always have uh vanette on and uh i sometimes do 2x and 2x or sometimes i'll do 4x and 4x um beta experimental sharpening i've noticed that whenever i play with it off the game feels a little bit too um like one dimensional and whenever i put it on it definitely gives the game kind of like a borderlands 2 kind of outline vibe and i really really like that so i've started leaving uh experimental sharpening on and i sometimes put blue off and on another thing is i used to try this for like a really really long time this was my old settings for like a really really long time however now i feel really comfortable uh doing just this or with bloom off that's pretty much my settings if we go into the range now you'll see how much fps i get with these settings so as you guys can see i'm getting a solid 900 to a thousand fps just on these settings alone and while my parts are definitely part of it it's not 100 percent uh just due to my parts if you do struggle getting fps in valorant i highly 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 recommend going to comp ready they updated my computer for me they did the whole optimization process they did everything and if you're watching this video you're probably just like me where i spent maybe an hour going on and looking at all the nvidia settings and changing it you know from best quality to best performance and stuff like that and i'm telling you guys whenever you buy stuff from comp ready and you buy their package it's really not like uh your standard stuff they go into your bios they'll go into deep settings they'll help you install a fresh slate of windows and they'll remove a lot of unnecessary apps as well as downloading some uh pc uh, optimization apps to really help maintain solid performance uh in games at all times so that's it for my settings video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any more questions let me know uh that's it for today's video and i appreciate it thanks